It's that time of year again. And you can just feel it. Oh, it's the worst feeling. They've popped up all over Long Island, damaging vehicles. It was a problem, honestly. Graduate student Kathleen Joyce, who commutes to Hofstra, knows firsthand how damaging potholes can be. I just hit ice the other day from after a pothole. I hit a, like a bunch of ice in there and the bottom of my bumper cracked. There's no doubt they are a nuisance on the road. So you try to go around me to look to next to you so you're not going to hit somebody because you're going around this wall pothole. Carlos Quinones owns George's Auto in Farmingdale. He has been busy keeping up with pothole damaged vehicles. This season, I'd probably say I've had at least three a week. Um, it's the most damage I've seen on vehicles in probably about a good five years. The price to service a vehicle with pothole damage can be tremendous. We've had some bills almost up to about $3,000 with some of the damages from the potholes. Tires alone can get expensive. Yeah, 300 easy right there on a stupid tire. Potholes are everywhere, and it's important to keep an eye on your vehicle for any possible damage. Try to avoid them. <laughs> yeah. That's really the best thing you can do. You know, you just got to drive safe, and if you see a big pothole, the best thing to do is try to slow down and take it at a slower speed so your car can handle it. Repairing potholes in the area is under the responsibility of the Nassau County Department of Public Works. Should definitely propose some money to go into redoing the highways after all this weather. Oh, I'd like to see certain parts of Hempstead Turnpike repaved yeah. <laughs> for my own vehicles and for everybody else. With the winter season slowly coming to an end, Kathleen and other drivers hope the number of potholes will decrease. Sarah Bardis, Long Island Report.